Hey everyone, welcome to part 121 of my Pokemon game series in Unity. So in this video, we'll implement switching positions in party. So we'll be able to switch the positions of the Pokemon in the party like this. And we'll also fix an issue with the selection that we have right now. So yeah, let's look at how to implement this. By the way, you can support the making of the series on Patreon and get access to some cool rewards like the complete project files of the series, exclusive tutorials, and access to the Discord community. There is even an entire course on Patreon that covers the creation of a 3D Pokemon game like this. So if you ever wanted to learn to create 3D RPGs, then check out this course on Patreon. The first few videos are free to watch if you want to just try it out. So before we start, I just want to say a huge thanks to all the patrons who are currently supporting the channel. You guys make the series possible and I'm grateful to each and every one of you. So let's start implementing switching positions in party. So in the previous videos, we have already created the menu item for switching the position, but we haven't done the implementation for it, right? So let's go ahead and do the implementation. So I'll go to the party state and in here, if switch position is selected, then we also have to select another Pokemon and switch both of these Pokemons, right? So I'm not going to create a separate state for this. I'm going to handle it from here itself. The logic of switching is going to be fairly simple. So over here, we need two variables for implementing switching positions. So first I'll create a boolean variable and I'll call this is switching position. And then I'll create an integer variable called selected index for switching. Let me set it to zero by default. All right. And then if switch position is selected from the menu, I'll set a switching position to true. And I'll also set the selected index for switching as the selected Pokemon index. Okay. So once a Pokemon is selected, we have to select a second Pokemon and switch those two Pokemon. Right. So at the top of this else condition, I'll check if a switching position is true. By the way, the spelling of this is wrong. So let me just rename it. Okay. And if a switching is true and if a Pokemon was selected, then we have to switch the position of that Pokemon with the Pokemon at this index, right? So to do that, we need reference to the player party from here. So we don't have reference to the player party right now. So what we can do is we can cache a reference to the player party. So let me create a variable for it over here. All right. And I'll cache a reference to it from the start function. All right. First, let me get a reference to the player controller using its singleton. And then we can just call get component and get the party attached to the player. All right. So the reason why I'm doing it from start instead of awake is because if we do it from awake, the singleton instance of the player controller might not be initialized, right? So it's better to do it from start. All right. So now we have the reference to the player party. So now we can switch the position of the Pokemon in the party. So we have to switch the position of the index that was selected for switching and the currently selected index, right? 
okay we have to use player party dot pokemon because player party is a class of pokemon party right and we can just switch the position of the two selected pokemon right so here we have to do a basic swapping logic so i have assigned the pokemon in this index to the pokemon in this index and next we have to do the opposite so the pokemon that was in this index should be stored in the pokemon in this index but we have already changed this so we'll have to create a temporary variable and store the pokemon in this index before we change the value of it okay and now to the newly selected index we can just assign the temp pokemon variable all right so this will switch the pokemon and from here i'll also set a switching position back to false because switching will be over after this okay so next after switching the pokemon we can also call player party dot party updated function so this will make sure to update the change that we made in the party screen ui okay and finally i'll just do a yield break because after switching we don't want to execute this code and open the menu again right so next there is also an edge case that we have to handle from here so if both the pokemon that the player selected are same then we should not try to switch and we should just show an error message instead so from here i'll check if the selected index for switching is equal to equal to the newly selected pokemon and if that's true then we can just show a message in the party screen saying that you can't switch you can't switch the position of the same pokemon so let me just copy this function and i'll paste it over here so here we can just show this message you can't switch with the same pokemon and from here also called yield break so that we won't execute any of this code all right so this is all you have to do for switching and by the way we can also show a message while well, it's like the first pokemon for switching so here i can show a message like choose a pokemon to switch position with okay so yeah this is all you have to do so let's try testing this all right so i'll just select a pokemon and select switch position and then i'll select the second pokemon and yeah that worked you can see that the position of the pidgey and bulbasaur changed but now we have an issue with selection after we switched the pokemon so here you can see the pokemon that i switched with stays highlighted even when i change my selection right so we don't want that so let's look at how to fix that so the reason why that is happening is because every time the party is updated we're calling the set party data function and setting the items into our selection ui right so while this function is being called the pokemon that we switched will be highlighted so to fix this issue we have to call the clear items function before we set the items again okay so from here we can just call the clear items function all right and this will clear the items before we set it again if we don't do this then the problem is the text slot of the currently selected item will stay highlighted and 
its original color will be the highlighted color all right so we don't want that so we just start to call the clear items function and by the way here when we clear all the items let me just use a null conditional operator because otherwise when we call this for the first time we will get a null reference exception because the items might be null okay so that should fix the issue so let me go ahead and try testing it again all right so let me try to switch the pokemon so i'll select this charmander select switch pokemon and i'll switch it with this squirtle and yeah it worked and now you can see that we don't have the issue where the switched pokemon stays highlighted all right so switching pokemon is working fine so next i want to fix another issue in selection so let me show you the issue first so from here if i press it down input and release it immediately the selection is not changing okay so if i press it normally it'll change but if i just press and release it immediately it will not change okay so this is an issue in our generic selector it's not related to switching positions in party we'll also have this issue in other areas like the menu so from here if i press the input and release it quickly it won't work but if i press it normally then it'll work okay so let's fix this issue so the reason why this issue is happening is because in our generic selector we are using the get access function for getting the input right so the problem with this function is that it will have a little bit of smoothing so when you press the input it won't become one or minus one immediately instead it will slowly increase to one or minus one right so instead of using get access we can use get access raw so this function will return the value without any smoothing which is what we want in this case okay so now if we try testing the selection again you can see that if i press the input and release it quickly the selection is still changing okay we can also try it from here so yeah that is working fine so we implemented switching position and fixed an issue in the selection in this video so i'll stop the video here in the next video we'll start the implementation of pc storage all right thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video